Hi, I'm Mark Gilbertson. We're here at the Carroll Morgan School with talented social studies teacher Jason Dean. Great. And we're here to talk a little bit about a project that Jason uh, did in his social studies class and the great ways that student, uh, students showed their learning. Mm -hmm. Jason, can you tell us a little bit about the project? Yeah, it started out with uh, some colleagues and I going to make videos to uh, teach uh, concepts to students and uh, we found out very quickly that it's hard to make videos. <laughs> it takes a long time and a lot of work. So uh, we ended up with, of the dozen we were going to make, we made one. Uh, I did not have sound. It wasn't uh, wasn't very good, but uh, I ended up showing it to students this this year, uh, and they got a kick out of it, even though it didn't have sound. So I thought, how can I use this, uh, you know, to, to help students understand these concepts? So uh, I created an assessment using that video, where although it didn't have sound, I challenged them to put a soundtrack or put words into the mouths of the characters in this video. So it switched from a real teacher-focused piece of work to a real student-focused piece of learning. So uh, it was pretty cool. That's great. That's great. And sometimes when we let go of that, that control and we have to do things, it not only takes some of the workload off us as teachers, mm, true. Um, but, um, but also um, uh, 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 you know, gives more responsibility and you turn out with something better. The results were, yeah, are, yeah, you're always surprised by what they can come up with. It's amazing. Great. On my middle level team, it was always my responsibility to come up with the bad example of the project. <laughs> <laughs> so, great. So let's take a quick look. Columbus. Yeah, and these students were trying to uh, illustrate why Columbus was interested in finding a new route to Asia. And they were showing us, like, here's the existing route, the Silk Road, and how how many negatives and what are the bad sides of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, they got off the steps. Criminals. Yeah, so it's really unique, uh, the way so no, this is just part. Like a nice um a, a nice quality of video, well thought out. Obviously they've done some videos before, they are having fun with it, but also mm -hmm. showing those details, cause and effect, why did Columbus want to uh, see a different place? So some kind of bigger historical themes as well. Yeah, and some students, uh, I mean, there's many different ways students showed me the same uh, information. Like these students, for example, show they're acting it out. Here's what's, what it's like on the Silk Road. Other students had uh, uh, animated maps. They had globes. They were, it was just really neat how, uh, when you, yeah, like you said, when you offer them those options, they, they just run with it and they come up with amazing stuff. And eventually, hopefully, you know, we can transfer over so that when you're you're showing parents that they've learned something, it's not just a grade in social studies, but you've got this evidence that they've learned cause and effect, and even students might even be able to curate that. So even talking to them sometime about, hey, how, did, how can you show that you know cause and effect, and they can pull out a little clip of the video. Yeah, and what's really neat about this particular project was that I made it very open-ended in terms of what the final deliverable was. I gave them some options, but they came to me with you know, other options, more difficult things. Like I, I imagine students would gravitate to things that were easy or mm -hmm. like this won't take too long. But it really surprised me again with like how willing they were to take on bigger challenges. You know, and uh, uh, <laughs> and it was kind of I'm not going to say it was insulting, but you know, and rather than take my video and make it better, they just threw it out <laughs> and, and made their that's, own. So that's enough. That often happens to me. People just start over again. <laughs> That's, a, that's good, though. That's good. Hey, and you've got a new book coming out with High Five History. Is that right? Yeah, High Five History. Mike Kaufman and myself, uh, we've kind of compiled, compiled the, the learnings we uh, uh, put together in this our first year of the blog. And uh, Great. it's called uh, Educational Exploits, and it comes out next week on Amazon.com. <laughs> Great. So, fantastic teacher, author, male model. Yep. Yes. Yes, I know. It's, it's tough. I, it's a burden. Hey, Jason, one of the tools that uh, we use if we're talking about video that I, that has been around for a little while and is pretty popular is something called Edpuzzle. And I'll show you that real quick here. Edpuzzle, it's a, a free online sort of tool that you can use. And what you can do is actually embed quiz questions, discuss, discussion questions into a, a video. So say you have a flipped classroom type experience or a video that you want people to watch at home. You can just put these little quick check questions in. And one of the things that I love about it is that you can see how many times 
a student had to rewatch something to get the content out oh, of it. Interesting. Which is kind of cool. So here's just a quick one um, that I made, and I'm in editing view here. And so you can see I've got a couple of quick questions here as I play it through. Um, this is one of our uh, favorite little uh, history Chewy videos would create a time that I'm sure that everybody's oh, yes. familiar with. Excuse so this, yeah, <laughs> great guy. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Um, so it stops, and I just added a real basic question here. Share one thing you you learned, and students can see this. You can add it as a discussion, so everybody can see what other people learned, or just as a quick prompt. And the students can't move on in the video until they've answered the question either correctly if you said it that way, or otherwise. Wow. So I, I know that. in my my past school, I had, when I assigned videos, students would sometimes play the video and then be doing something else in the background. This just kind of brings them back together again. A quick little check that way. Can I ask you something? If is this available to students as well? Like, could they make their videos and add their own questions? Do you think they register as either a teacher or a student, okay. and so they'd be locked into that when they first locked in? But that's a great question and something we can explore for other tools because there are some certainly some other tools that we can use to uh, to do that. I'm sure I'm sure um, everybody uses Kahoot, which is a great way yes. to do that, but it doesn't quite embed that video the same way. So. Okay, that's no, no, that's a great tool though. Fantastic tool, really quick to use, super easy learning curve, and I think uh, can certainly add in our collection of data. Sounds good. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Jason. Thank you. Take care.